watch Pink Play Monster every Saturday. <laughs> I want to watch Pink Play Monster every Saturday. <laughs> Katie, now can you say it in your easel monster voice? I want I to watch Pink Play Monster every Saturday. <laughs> I don't rap about problems, you know, I don't rap about things that, like, like the ghetto or nothing, because when kids come to my concert, when they come to my concert, I want them to, I want life's pressure to be taken off their backs, you know what I'm saying, and not put on their backs, mm -hmm. you know, that's why they come to my show, they be having fun, not uh -huh. rap about the ghetto in life, yeah. they don't want to hear that. Well, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Paint by Monster. All right, listen up. A factory. Here's what a factory is, okay? A factory is a little building that a train runs through. That's all. It's a house for a train. A factory is a house for a train. At the end of the house, something comes out of the factory that's more valuable than when it went in. It's a process. Machines are often part of the process. If you're going to be a monster artist, you're going to need to learn process. Also, when you get bigger and go to college, college is for figuring out the process that you love. What do you love to do? Over... What do you love to do over and over? Think about that for a minute. What do you love to do over and 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 over? Shut up, you pay attention. What do you love to produce over and over? It's a question you have to ask yourself. It should be something you enjoy. I like doing this over and over. This is certainly ideas. Processes itself can feed this. Sometimes this can be other other people can be part of your necessary process. But I, I still love it. I, I still like it. It makes me dance, and you know, it gets me up. But you know, he's, his his music brings education.
train is a fine way to get somewhere for a while. And sometimes we keep the old ones going because they still work really good. But sometimes the place a train has gone has to become a path for something else and, well, you have to take a new direction. Sometimes old factories have to be left behind. They don't serve us anymore. Not in that way. This is the moment where you have to decide, does this piece of art live or die? As an artist, what are you going to do with catastrophe? And this is how you're not like a factory. Most times they don't deal well with catastrophe. But as an artist, well... Look here, as an artist, you can go in a new direction. A new direction. It's just training. Training a process to ask some funny questions. How can I redeem this? How can I use this? Sweetie, I want you to ask yourself those questions as you're making. As you are making your own beautiful things. This is the third illustration in the Marshall Fark and Fire Truck Ducks. This is actually a, a factory of a particular sort, but that can wait. One of the ideas, one of the processes that's feeding me in this is an idea that I'll just throw in here at the end called Repeat with Variation. I'm taking some of these circles from Mrs. Farkin's fabric on her dress in the American Gothic Ducks video. And you should recognize them from last week's, last Saturday's video. You have to figure out your process. And you have to grow. Grow, monster artists, grow. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I think I'll see you next Saturday. And, you know, in the meantime... I love you, Katie Bindi. <laughs> See you next Saturday, everybody. Oh, hey, uh, subscribe, share, like, comment. 
I'm over on Instagram. I'm posting some little stuff there sometimes. It's a factory. It's a house for a train. <laughs> 